Well, .NET Bioproduct is an application that we've developed uh, alongside Microsoft. And in Microsoft's applications today, Windows application, Windows 7, smart card based authentication is plug and play. Right? You know, you've got the drivers in there, you just place the smart card in and away you go. Certain organizations would like to use biometrics, right, either for an ease of use perspective, right, so as opposed to them putting a pin in to unlock the certificate on the smart card to authenticate to Active Directory, they may just want to use a fingerprint. Right? It's very secure because the fingerprint is on the card itself, on the smart card. It's what's called match on card. So that's really what we're doing. And in the context of the Microsoft environment, all those solutions are built into the server products and Windows today. Makes it a lot easier for organizations to deploy smart card based authentication. So as far as the smart card certificate based authentication, all the drivers on the in the Windows operating system are there, right? They just download those. You do have a small plug-in you have to download from our website for the biometric application. And what that is is that's to go ahead and, and set up your set up your fingerprint, right? And then that's all you need to do. And so it's uh, obviously you need a fingerprint reader, you know, either on the PC as we'll demonstrate here, or a separate fingerprint reader. But we work with all the fingerprint readers in the market today. We have some very large financial organizations that are talking to us about it. And again, there's a variety of different reasons why people want to go to, to biometrics. In some cases, it's for an added you know, security element, which of course is three-factor. Uh, in other cases, it's ease of use. You know, the executives don't want to remember PIN numbers, so you just use your fingerprint, but you still are using certificate-based PKI authentication at the back end in the Windows environment. So uh, first of all, we have this uh, .NET Smart Heart that uh, actually has a, a biometric application loaded on it. What it does is that uh, once I plug in the card, as you can see me doing here, Windows will actually detect that the card has been inserted and it's actually um, presenting me with the option of either scanning my finger or um, entering a pin. Okay. That's the way it's set up. We can set it up such that it requires both fingerprint and pin or just pin or just finger. All right. So I'm going to present my fingerprint. At this point, the scanner scans the fingerprint, sends it to the card, lets the card do the matching, and then once the matching is done, then permits the authentication process to continue with Microsoft, right, with Windows. So as you can see, we have successfully logged in. And uh, let's take a look at how you know we can use that for uh, signing a document. Let's say we have a purchase order that uh, we would like to sign. Now we have this pre uh, pre setup area for us to apply a signature. Now when I click on sign, what happens is that uh, let's say, okay we can either select a, a digital digital um, uh, digital signature image, or I can just put my my initials here. And when I click on sign. What happens is that Microsoft Word's gonna go to the card and say, card, please sign this document. And the card's gonna respond, sure, I can do that, but first, proof that uh, you are the holder of the card. So at this point, I will present again my fingerprint to once again let it validate you know, that I am indeed you know, the holder of this, of this card that's been inserted. It does that, once it's verified, it applies the signature, as we can see that there's a valid signature of Jane Anderson being applied to this document. When I'm done with that, say I need to step out of the office and take the card out, it looks.